Hello beautiful people, today we are diving into some much needed DIY projects. I've been on a real homemaking kick lately and I'm thoroughly enjoying the process of decorating. However, revamping your home on a budget can be quite the challenge. Thankfully, there are plenty of small affordable adjustments you can make to elevate your space. I've had this entryway drawer for a while now, but over time it started to show signs of wear and tear. The paint was peeling and there were some stubborn stains that made it look far from desirable. So I made the decision to repurpose it and give it a fresh new look without breaking the bank. Let's dive into this budget friendly transformation. The first step was to tackle the clutter and clean out these drawers. Over time, they have become a hiding spot for axles, crafts and a various of other odds and ends that needed to be stashed away. Sorting through the contents was quite the task, as I unearthed items I didn't even know were in there. Taking advantage of the beautiful weather, I decided to do this task outdoors. Once the drawer were emptied, I brought out my trusty vacuum cleaner to tackle the accumulated dust. It was the easiest and most efficient way to ensure a thorough clean before moving on to the next step of the transformation. Next, I began the process of sanding down the drawers using my electric sander. This tool has proven to be one of the most useful in my DIY arsenal. However, I won't deny that sanding was quite a tedious task. It requires careful attention to detail, ensuring that every inch of the drawer surface was properly sanded. I knew that this step was crucial to achieving a smooth finish once we started painting. Skipping any part of the sanding process could compromise the final result, so I made sure to take my time and do it thoroughly. As the daylight faded, my husband and I brought the drawer indoors to continue our project. I was determined to give the drawer some added height since I always found myself bending over or struggling to access the drawer from the low position. After some searching, I stumbled upon these beautiful wooden legs at Jalma. Priced at about 65 Rand each, I instantly fell in love with the modern yet classic look which I knew would complement our home's wooden floors perfectly. Excited to see the transformation take shape, I enlisted my husband's help to install these legs. However, what seemed like a simple task turned into a bit of a saga. I mistakenly bought the wrong screw-ins, not once, but twice, resulting in three trips back to the store. It was incredibly frustrating, but we knew it was crucial to have the correct screws to ensure the legs fit flush with the backing. After finally acquiring the right screws, my husband expertly installed all four legs, instantly transforming the look of the straw.
Now that the legs were installed, all that remained was applying a fresh coat of paint. I know this isn't specifically the correct paint for wooden items, it's enamel paint for trims. However, let me tell you, the finish and shine this paint gives is incredible. It has an almost plastic-like finish, perfect for wiping off sticky fingers and little spills. I've used it on other wood items before and it's been my go-to ever since. I've tried paints specifically for wood in the past but they often leave chalk-like finish and aren't easy to wipe down. So I decided to go with what works best for me. Unfortunately, I thought I was recording myself painting but I couldn't find the footage afterwards. It seems I forgot to press record. I was really disappointed that I couldn't show you the smooth finish while applying the paint. And that's it. This DIY project was so much fun and it instantly elevates our space. All in all, it cost me 260 Rand to upcycle this drawer and I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. Thank you so much for following along. If you enjoyed this type of content, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can continue making more videos like this. Until next time, bye!